You know I love beer. Yeah. And we're in the beer capital of Europe, and yet we haven't had that much beer. I tell you what, I've got a treat for you, mate. What? How about a bath of beer? Oh, yes, now you're talking my beer <laughs> language. Welcome to our regional beer spa. My name is Daria. Mm. As you can see, we had prepared for you beer bus, and I'm going to mix for you beer, natural beer ingredients as yeast and Czech hops. Wow. Yeast? But, yes. And the yeast? Because sometimes the word yeast goes with the other word infection. That's no, not... no, it's special yeast for brewing beer. Right, okay. So we can't be infected by no, it? No, of course. OK, that's good. Also, as you can see, we prepared for you fresh beer bread with tofu spread, towels, sheets for straw bed, and sheets for sauna. Mm. So thank you very much. Enjoy your time. And see you later. Yes, thank you very thank much. You. Thanks, Thanks Daria. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Please. I'm scared. I'm very uncomfortable. Mm. Mm. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's very warm. Oh. <laughs> I've gone quite low. I've gone quite low. Oh, there is a. Oh, go there's, go? A, there's a ledge. There's an absolute ledge. Ooh. Wow, ah, that's nice. It smells weird. Smells terrible. This is even worse than one of my baths. It stinks. This is the kind of thing I always do. Yeah. Have a beer bath with a guy. Yeah. And have beer bread with pig fat. Lovely, and yeah. then drink beer. Do you want a beer? Well, it would be silly not to, I suppose, wouldn't it? What kind of beer have we got? I'm actually really enjoying this now. Whoa! Do you want a bloody flight with that, mate? I want a light beer. That's just going to be a proper aroma. Let me hold it. We're not very good at pouring beer. Oh! What is it? Yeah. <laughs> I might. That'll do. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I feel very relaxed. Yeah. yeah. I know. Do you like a spa normally? Do you go for like massages and things no. like that? I try never to remove my clothes. Mm. Honestly, you're the only person that's seen me with my clothes off. Well, don't worry, we're not televising this, so they won't show this on Channel 4. This is just for us. It's just for us. It's like a little treat. Okay. Do you want to know some of the benefits of being in a beer spa? Sure. Feels real nice. Feels real nice, number one. Very good for your immune system, apparently. Really? Yeah. Drinking beer. Drinking beer in beer. Very good for your immune system. Right. Very good for your skin, obviously. And very good for your hair. Oh. Removes cellulite. Do you have any cellulite? A tiny bit. Yeah, well, that'll be gone. Right. See ya. <laughs> uh, not good for your relationships, unfortunately. Very bad for your relationships. Right, yes. because you stink and you're drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's page one of the marriage manual, let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. Don't stink, don't get drunk, don't and don't drink beer and have bread in the bar. Yeah. Page one. But it is delicious. Do you want to try some of the bread? Honestly, not really. Are you, um, pig fat bread. Pig fat bread. I'm not ready for pig fat bread, I don't think. Not me. <laughs> I really went in with a big bite, and that is um, <laughs> really disgusting, actually. Hey, you know what I think would be a nice invention? That for old spritz bath. Oh, yeah, nice. Very nice. You know, bath of, bath of uh, tonic with some oranges floating around. That's a lovely idea. Something a little more middle class. Porn star martini bath. A which which? A porn star martini. What's that? You have like little passion fruits floating around in it. Oh. And you have a little prosecco with it. Oh, that's nice. 
think this is what lads do, is it, then? Maybe. Whee! There you go. Yeah. It's nice to open up, isn't it? Yeah. Whee! I love being a man. Whee! Whee! Ooh! Ah! Some people love to be drunk so much that they'll do anything. They'll yeah. put it in their... up their nose and they'll... Stick it up there, bum. You can have a beer enema, probably. I feel like I'm having a beer enema right now. Yeah. I'm not against it. Uh, ooh. Uh, hey. Hey. Oh, I can that. Ooh. Shut right. it, shut it. Hey, Adam. Yes. Did you know that the first beer spa dates back to the Middle Ages? That doesn't surprise me in the least. No. Those I feel guys. like the last beer spa will end soon. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think invented the beer spa? Some legend. I bet it was Vikings, don't you? It feels Vikingy, doesn't it? It, it seems it? like classic Viking behaviour. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it's not. It wouldn't be my first invention. I think my brain is shutting down. <laughs> well, just relax then, brother. All my alarm bells are going off at once. Naked in public, beer in bath. Uh, oh, it's just two alarm bells going off. Yeah. But they're very loud. Yeah. Would it kill them to put Sky Sports on in here? Ooh. See you then. What would Heston Blumenthal make of the beer spa? I thought of this ages ago! <laughs> Putting Tizer in the bath! I put Tizer in strange things in the bath ages ago! <laughs> Before the Middle Ages, and now it's been ripped off! I was putting milk in there ages ago! <laughs> and chocolate horlicks and all those things! Rice! Having rice in the bath and noodles, pot noodles! All of those things I was doing ages ago! <laughs> now it's been ripped off! I don't know what Heston actually sounds like. <laughs> that, probably. I think he's a very clever man. Oh, uh, don't backtrack now. We finished it! Whee! Legends! Legends only! I think I've had all I can take of the beer bar. Me too, mate. I'm so relaxed as I can't move my body. Oh! <laughs> now we lie on straw for a while. Yes. Do you know what? Nothing says relaxing to me more than a green neon backlight. <laughs> Ready? Sure. Yeah, I'm, that's nice. I'm trying to look sexy. Are you? Me too. Are you? How's that working out for me? It's pretty good, man. We have to stay here for two hours, two apparently. Two hours? On straw? Why straw? I don't know, it's really uncomfortable, isn't it? Well, yes. Hey, Adam. Yes? What would Heston Blumenthal say about lying on straw? I did that ages ago! I thought of strange things to lie on that you wouldn't normally think of lying on. I thought of lying on straw and twigs and also leaves and crisps and all things like that I lay on. And now it's like, oh, I thought, oh, come on, they lying on straw, so I think I'm going to pass out. Night, night, Heston. All right.